Hello, hello friends, Deborah Drabby here. Welcome back to another theme deck corner. As you can see today, we will be playing that boy, the big boy, Dragonite, and we will be going over the deck in just one moment. Right after this. <laughs> So I can only hope that wasn't too loud, but I did want to go over Dragonite first today. I believe the name of the deck is Soaring Sky, something like that. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but that's fine. Is it on here? Soaring Storm. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm off a letter. It's Soaring Storm uh, for our Dragonite today, uh, but we have Dragonite is the big boy himself in this deck. We have the Hurricane Charge. Once during your turn before you attack, you may attach a Water Energy and a Lightning Energy card, or one of each, from your hand to the Pokemon in any way you like. So the way you got to do this is, you know, you got a Hurricane Charge, Physical Attachment, Dragon Impact for 170 damage. That's a huge uh, damage cap. So this is a nice big boy Dragonite. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. Um... I think I like the regular hollow better though. I'm not sure. Um, but this does come with a lot of good things. Like you see Pidgeotto control coming out there. You can get two Pidgeotos from this deck. And that's a really good start for that Pidgeotto control deck. And it's proven to be very, very strong against like everything. Being able to search out your 60 HP Pidgeotto is very easy with Elms. Stuff like that. So it does give you a lot of good basic stuff to get started with. You know, your Cynthia's, some Lilies. And the Tate and Lies is always good. And Pokemon Communication is a good way to search for everything. But let's go over the other lines in this. So it does have a 3, 2, 1 line of Pidgeot. Um, and this is mostly just a Pidgeot. Is so you can get free retreat and allow you to uh, set up. But you're going to be using your Pidgeotto most of the time to be able to continually go through your deck and draw the energies you need. You're really only going to put Pidgeot up there if you if you got your Pidgeotto stuck in the active and you need to get it out you can retreat it and uh try to spin storm or something get rid of get rid of something um that is a threat is the idea behind it, pidgeot uh we also have tornadoes and his bro thunderous in this deck tornadoes tornado is a very strong attack if thunderous is on your bench this does 20 damage to each of your opponent's bench pokemon terribly strong um so it does 80 and then 20 possibly times five so that's 180 damage for this attack, which is phenomenal if you can get it set up. Uh, but they all reek to lightning. Just a warning. Resistance to fighting, though. Normal type that's resistant to fighting. Grimer is your general collector. You want to throw it up in the front to begin with and draw two car cards for no energy. Uh, we got Dratini has the Aqua Lift. As long as you have a water energy attached to it, it has no retreat cost. This can come in handy very well when you need to pivot. Uh, you get something knocked out and you're not sure what you can go into just yet so you put Dratini with the water energy up and it has free retreat allows you to retreat anytime you need to jump back into the uh, the bench space and then it has uh, three so three Dratinis three Dragonairs to be able to evolve into your two Dragonites with the hurricane charge um, and oh I forgot something we have Chinchow to be able to evolve into a lantern this is a simple 170 damage not 70 140 damage wrong numbers um if you discard all your lightning energy so you, you kind of want to set this thing up to be lightning lightning water so you can hit for 140 um the th nice thing about this is in standard format if you get a thunder mountain this thing can attack for a lightning and then one of the energy and then you can just keep attaching lightning and attack and hit for 140 every turn very good um so when this thing is knocked out though by damage of your opponent's attack you may move a basic energy card from this Pokemon to uh oh never mind it's its ability is like an XP share so when something is knocked out you can take an energy off of it and put it on lantern very strong if you're uh, if you're having trouble keeping things alive and then like I said we have thunderous in here backing up tornadus with thunderous gale if tornadus is on your bench does 50 more damage so a simple 70 damage for two energy is very strong and then also does Raging Thunder to for a big like one knock one hit knockout. And that is the Pokemon line. We have things like Energy Recycler System, so you can get three basic energy cards back when you discard them too early. Pokemon Communications to 
grab the proper Pokemon that you need instead of the ones you don't want at that time. What's up, Stardy? Retry, how you doing? Uh, we got a couple of switch uh, switch in here so you can switch out from the active. Bugcatcher is a new supporter from on uh, Unified Minds. Flip a coin, you get two more cards. Pretty pretty standard, just not the necessarily the best. You just started playing TCGO. Nice. It is a fun game for sure. Uh, did you end up buying any theme decks or anything? We also get two Cynthia's. I believe it's two Fishermen. No, just one Fisherman. So they split the Fisherman and the retri re uh, Recycle System here so that you can get both of them. Um, two House for general draw support. Just kind of a filler space. Uh, Lilies, a couple of fan clubs. is kind of the best way to search out your basics. Um, Tate and Isaac can use a Switch or a Shauna, which is very nice. You've just been doing boosters. Okay. And then we, I believe the split is like 15-5 for energy. 11-9, which is a very solid energy split for this deck. So with that, we will go ahead and jump into a ladder match with this Dragonite boy. So what are you trying to build? Uh, retry. I guess I'll, that's what I'll call you is retry. Let's go back into theme decks here. So we can play with our uh, Dragonite against other theme decks. Here we go. Soaring Storm. Big Dragonite, but I love this, uh, the artwork on the, um, on the box itself. Very pretty artwork. Looking for an opponent. Hopefully we find one. The search engine has been a little slow as of late. Um, I don't know why that is, but it's, it has been slow when I was on here last time. Zapdos version 1. Love this coin. Oof, I lost the coin flip. They'll probably go first. Oh, cool, it's a mirror match. And uh, we're gonna have to start with Chin Chow. Okay, so let's see if Chin Chow can do the work here. We're gonna need at least two lighting energies on it when it evolves into Lantern. Ooh, they get the Dratini start. So I'm not sure if I risk it here with the bug catcher to get the extra card if I flip a heads or if I just go with a howl for to try to get set up quicker here. Already it looks like they have a little bit stronger of a setup here. They got a free retreater up here and they got one of their Pidgeys down. Um, Dragonair does not help us right now. I'm going to have to go for the coin flip. Might be beneficial. It is. But not terribly. What is this? All water energies. We're just gonna pound it. Man, that is that's rough. Yikes. We're already really far behind here. Oh my goodness! What? Sombra. <laughs> what? Sombra curse hosting the stream for 38 viewers. Craziness. I need to grab a Pidgey actually. <laughs> Entertaining. But how you doing, uh, Admire? How you doing? <laughs> What's up, Somber? How you doing? You got stuck behind ads. Whew. That's a lot of people. Now I'm nervous. I can't do anything with Lantern. Dang it. Yes, I've just been blooped. That's what it looks like here. Wherever those emotes are. I know I have one. I know I have it somewhere. Where's it at? It's behind something. There it is. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and evolve our dragon air. We just got to try to get out of this. They are really putting on the pressure here, though. 
Not much I can do. I guess I attach a water because I can attach a double and just knock it out next turn. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by, Sombra. We'll definitely catch you another time. Have a good night. <laughs> if I don't see you again. I know I need to do a lurk uh, thing. Oh, it does work, but it doesn't doesn't actually have the uh, the dapper lurk on it. Uh, which I can't even find where I'm at now. I want that? There it is. So enjoy your lurk. There. All right. So now we can do this. And we can actually knock this thing out. We can hurricane charge. <laughs> Did it backwards, okay. Attach them both to lantern. I'm really surprised they didn't go for the knockout there, but they didn't. So kind of lets us roll over them. Uh, do I need to do 70 more damage? Knocks it out. Yes, we'll do 70 more damage. Oh, I guess I hit no. Oops. <laughs> Oof, they got us. They definitely have a setup. I don't know how I got the Dragonite down before them, but they definitely they have the Tornadus, Thunderous. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> That's what that sounds like to me. Oh, yeah, I definitely needed to do the double then. Hmm. So I can I can go in with Pidgey and take the knockout. Otherwise I have to like hit a heads. So we don't see We definitely do not see a Pidgey Odo right now. Um So I think I just Try to go in with this Pidgey and like hope they can't find any energy. And hope my misplays there weren't aren't too obvious. Finally, if we do get a draw supporter and actually draw some cards here, or maybe even a fisherman would work, uh, we can actually attack with Dragonite and kind of get things moving here. So they do have the energy, no problem. Um, they're probably just gonna thunder his Gale, hit for 70, and see if I have the knockout in return, which I don't unless I get uh, another energy. As simple as that. So right now it looks like we're just waiting on him. See if, uh, well, I guess this isn't, this uh, card does seem to take a while, to be honest. Energy recycle system, because I think it has the two different effects. Sometimes the, the client really struggles kind of putting it together and what they're trying to do. So I've, I've had it before where it like waits 10 seconds to put the energy, even if you choose it really fast. I don't know why. It's just kind of slow. Nice big Cynthia. So they can try to get that energy. It looks like they got the energy. And they're ready to attack the following turn. Um, where am I at on this? Because so I could do something similar if I get two energies. Hmm. I think I just have to go in with Dragonite, actually. Yeah, it looks like I gotta go in with Dragonite. Which could be a little sketch. Now it's extremely sketch. Um, Cause I gotta use these two energy to retreat. Now he's just a support mine. Gonna collect for two cards though. Try to come back here. Finally get a Pidgeotto. A little too late though. Not much we can do with the Pidgeotto now that we have no Pidgeys down. 
So I think they have the three energies. They're going to do 20 damage to each of my uh, bench. And take a clean knockout on a Lolan Grammar. Nice. Yeah. Pretty sure we lost this one. We're just too far behind now. Ooh, Cynthia. Let's go ahead and throw down another Thunderous. And Cynthia, just so there's less one less card down there. That's not a helpful hand. <laughs> How do I get no energy in this whole hand? Seriously, how did I get no energy? Ouch. That would have been a big hit too. Um, I could retreat, but that puts me in no better place than I am right now. I'm stuck passing. Until I get another draw supporter. That was a that was a not a fun Cynthia. That Cynthia just said nope. Nope. Not this time. But we are still kind of showing off Dragonite and how well it works uh, as we're facing one and about to get wrecked at it. So as you can see, the idea is, you know, you're supposed to uh, get Pidgeotto's here so you can go through your deck quicker. But, you know, you get Dragonite down, you can attach three energy per turn, and kind of set up anything on your board at any given moment, and uh, have fun doing it. So it does have 120, okay. So I guess we're going with this. Lily. Lily for three. And still get no energies. <laughs> oh, Lily. Lily and Cynthia. Everybody, Lily and Cynthia. I mean, we don't have that many energies down here. Guess we have half. Oh, did they just, they knocked out a Pidgey? That's a random. Okay. So this is too little too late to go ahead and uh, go after Pidgeotto. So we need the Cynthia. Normally I would probably fan club there, get the two Pidgeys down so we'd have two Pidgeotos next turn. But considering they're going to knock this thing out anyways, um, it's, it's just too little too late to be able to uh, throw that down. So we can get a, a attack off here. Or no, we can't get, get, okay, that's what we do. We can't get, we can hit it for 80 here, but uh, that, that's, as, that's as far as we got before we lost this game. Just the way it is, sometimes sometimes the decks just do not want to draw the way they want to draw. There we go, there goes Tornadus and our chances of winning that. But there you go, that's how Dragonite works. Let's try another game with this though and see if we can get a uh, better matchup. Maybe one that doesn't brick so hard for us. Because I do like Dragonite a lot. Um, in fact, I think I have like several carbon copies of this deck already with like different things in it like I think I took out Grimer and put in like Mew 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 GX and uh the big other big Dragonite oh jeez cell phone going off at nine o'clock at night what the heck yes we won the tails there going after Dragonite tails they're so good uh, we're gonna start this one off with the Thunderous, and we can probably grab Tornadus off of the Pokemon Communications. Or the Fan Club. Something like that. I guess we go after a Pidgey and a Dratini. And a Tornadus. That's probably the best three to grab. That way we can put early pressure on with Thunderous and uh, still get the cards we need. Um, so let's go with a water energy. Fan club. Guess it doesn't matter what order we grab these in. But basically we want a Tornadus down. We want a Pidgey down. So we'll communication away Lantern and grab a Pidgey. That way all our bases are covered and what we need here. 
and we just pass the turn and see if they can set up uh, two Inkes so that their Malamars can set up Necrozma and uh, Savali. So this will be the other one we play a little bit later. Laser Focus um, has Necrozma in it, a small partial Malamar deck it build, and then has things like Tauros for Call for Family, Med Spirit, which also grabs three basics and throws it down, and also has Audino with the hearing ability, which you get you to draw one. Or what I like to call is the poor man's, um, poor man's, uh, Jirachi right there. Hmm, let's throw the lightning energy down and go ahead and Cynthia. See if we can get a dragon air down as well. The answer is no. That's unfortunate. We will thunderous gale though here. Hit it for 70 since we have tornadoes on the bench. I guess we don't go after dragon, dragon air first. We go after, uh... Pidgeotto first, because that allows us to get through our deck a little faster. If you guys like the music, be sure to go check out uh, Glitch City on YouTube. Cool, we got a Grimer, so we can definitely grab that Pidgeotto now. So we can draw through our deck a little bit better. I think I might Tate and Liza before I go ahead and uh, use air mail though. And since I only want to hit for 70 right now, I'm going to throw this energy here. Don't need to switch anything, so I'm going to go ahead and draw five cards. And we get another Tornadus and another Thunderous. Hmm. Go ahead and airmail. Ooh, what do I like better? How are... Yeah. A draw support is better than no draw supporter for next turn. Um, I don't think they're going to come in for the knockout. So I'm going to throw down this lantern and see if it can kind of collect some energies for me. Uh, it looks like I have the option to throw down whatever one disappears on me. If they knock out tornadoes, throw down a... Tornadoes, if they knock out Thunderous, throw down a Thunderous. I really think this is, out of these two, this deck runs better. Oh, they got the special energy. Tisk, 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 tisk. Um, so I wasn't able to save those energies. And I don't have our free retreater here. And I definitely can't get two more energies on Tornadus. So I think I just have to throw Pidgey up here and collect. Go ahead and evolve and evolve. Um, let's airmail first. Guess it doesn't matter what I choose. Two energies and we can howl that's a little better I don't think they have a way to reset our hand so until I throw tornadoes in the active I really want to try to keep thunderous in my hand um, granted this next turn if they knock out Pidgey who am I going into the answer is like nobody so I guess I do have to throw down a Grimer and we're just gonna collect for a couple of turns and hope that we can do okay with that. So it's gonna be a slow couple turns. Um, it's gonna kind of take a miracle to knock out this Necrozma. We need a Dragonite and a couple of energies. Cause it's, it's hitting for 160 every turn right now. So this free attacking Grimer allows me to get an extra energy on this Tornadus and it looks like I can um, bug catcher get more cards so I have the energy finally now we just need a Dragonite I think I need the Thunder energy more than the other one um, 
already attached for turn. The Thunderous and a Dratini. I guess we go Dratini and collect. Yes, I like that one. That way we can, um, if we can draw a, a, a Dragonair, then we can go ahead and evolve it. Otherwise, uh, we still have uh, Thunderous that can hit for 80 on this and then 20 on the rest of their board. Especially if they get like a fifth guy down here, then I'll be really excited to go ahead and go into an Atus. Ooh, there we go. Nice other Necrozma. Resistance. So they are up in prizes now, but I think we can kind of start mounting a comeback. We have like all the right cards for the comeback, and we can only steal one energy, so there's that. Uh, we could Bug Catcher here, and we have Air Mail still available to us as well. Let's go ahead and Bug Catcher for those two cards, those two energy, I should say. And then air mail. Uh, we have no Pidgeys down, but we really do not need Dratini. And with that, we go ahead and Thunderous Tornado. Do a nice damage to everybody. And I think I can actually come in here and Thunderous Gale this next turn. If I can, like, top deck a Dragonite. So that's where it's kind of difficult. It's like I kind of need to top deck a Dragonite, but I still have lots of ways to dig for it. Special laser. Man, this thing's proving difficult. Uh, grab this. Oh, that's what we do. Lantern can take it out. It only has 70 HP left. It only has 60 HP left. Math. There we go. We go into Lantern here. And then we have... Throw Pidgey down. That way we can just dig through the last bit of our deck a little better. Um, guess I'm going to grab Cynthia. Although I could see the other one being very useful as well. No, we're going to grab a Lightning Energy. Lightning Strike. Do you like to discard all the energy? Nope. We would not like to discard all the energy. But we can knock out Necrozma. Maybe Dragonite is in the prizes, but apparently it's not. <laughs> Lots to do here. Lots to do here. Uh, but we're kind of showing... This is considered the strongest deck right now. Necrozma Malamar. And you can kind of see why. Malamar sets up Necrozma, sets up Savali, and they just kind of swing for 100, 100 120, 160 uh, back and forth to be able to kind of just take out everything with uh, relatively easy to set up attackers and uh, a strong supporting mon that's easy to set up as well as it's stage one. As you can see, we're struggling a little bit to keep up simply because our uh, support mon is a stage two. Once we get that stage two down, granted it is like a little more powerful than Malamar, we can kind of attack with anything. But until uh, we have 14 cards left and we still do not have that stage two set up, which is where we are uh, kind of slowly struggling here. So they are kind of handing me free knockouts until they can take out Lantern here, it looks like. Interesting. I did not think that really helped them. But here we go, we got a second Pidgeotto. We can finally kind of airmail until we get this guy. And maybe a Dragonair as well. Nope, or just two Dragonites, that's fine. Now I need a Dragonair. <laughs> that's really funny, it just is like, yeah, you can have two Dragonites. So I guess we go ahead and Hurricane here. Hurricane Charge and throw them on to Thunderous so that Thunderous is ready to attack next turn. 
And since we do have extra, we will probably throw one on Dragonite himself. And I could fan club, but I don't think that's the best option. Let's go ahead, Lightning Strike. Do not discard the energy. Let's just take the free knockout and try to catch up here. So really all they have to do is knock out this Lantern and then Dragonite and they win the game. So if they're, I think they're holding on to their Necrozma until they get that specific uh, weakness guard energy to be able to take a one shot on Dragonite. But I believe since we have Tornadoes we can kind of go into Thunderous next but we do have to worry about we do have to worry about if they get a, um, whatchamacallit down here, Sylvalli. If they get a Sylvalli set up, then our Thunderous can go down really easy. Hmm. They might have it here. Uh, because I can knock this out with Raging Thunder, of course. But because of that... I'm like short. I guess the play here is actually to take this out. Finally got a Dragonair. We have a Thunderous. Which we can also power up. But that doesn't take the knockout. I think we commit to this. Yeah, we have Fisherman. We can do it again. Um, let's retreat the water energy. Go ahead and Hurricane Charge. Since we have both. We have Fisherman for next turn. Although we could probably just Fisherman this turn. Yeah, so we can Fisherman this turn. And I believe we can still kind of go through the entire deck if we need to get anything else. So let's go ahead and Fisherman. We have two, uh, two Lightning. So we'll just even up the odds here so that we can always Hurricane Charge into something. And go ahead and Dragon Impact here. I think we will keep... What's up, Dadazard? How you doing tonight? I think we're getting rid of the lightning energy here. Yeah, that makes sense. Keep the one water energy on him. How you doing tonight, though, Dadazard? I know I got to watch a lot of your stream last night. <laughs> Atrocious Jiggly Buff. That is an amazing emote. It's just weird how it fills the space. It's going pretty well. I'm doing my theme deck corners right now. I'm going to go ahead and post this up to YouTube in the next coming days. Um, we're going over Dragonite. The Hurricane Charging Dragonite to see how well it does. And right now, we're doing pretty good against which basically the top theme deck, which is Laser Focus. Um, we're playing this the, a game right now where we're trying to prevent them from knocking out anyone else to win the game. Uh, so we have Big Boy Dragonite in the active. We're trying to, you know, take out this Sylvalli. They don't really have anything else they can attack with. They could get up a, a Gumshoes and attack for 100. But other than that, I think we kind of have their number here. We can even go into another Dragonite here. Double Hurricane Charge and take this out. But I think I want to save that. That sounds like something I want to save. So I can attach an energy here and go ahead and retreat Dragonite. to just keep him safe. But the question is, do I, do I have a way to do the follow-up KO? Because if they evolve into Savali, I don't have the extra 20 damage. I 
time. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. No matter what, I do wanna do this. Retreat in Tornadus. Hurricane Charge. Onto Tornadus. So we can do that Raging Thunder. I was like, is there anything else I can kind of take out as a knockout? Oh, thank you for the hose there, Dadazard. I think I want to Hurricane Charge again. But I think I got to do it onto this Dragonite. And I hope I have enough energy left to actually finish this game out. I may not. Let's see if I have enough energy. Ooh, that's a good one. So we actually will grab that item and play it. And since we can draw through our entire deck, energy recycle system takes so long. Yes, I chose three basics. So let me see those three basics so I can choose them. Um, so we have a lightning energy. So I almost want to guarantee I have enough water per lightning ratio here. Yeah, airmail is is terribly good, and you get two of them in this deck. Taking its time, taking its time. Question is, where do I put the forty damage? I definitely don't put it on Dragonite, because it'll knock out Dragonite. Um, I don't think they have like a spread ability, or like an attack anybody. But I wonder if I want to put it on like. Thunders. This card takes so long. Come on, I chose my three basics. Man, this game just hates this card. It hates this card. Oh man, come on. You're gonna put me on the timer, game. Activate it. I chose the three cards. Come on. Let's go. I really hope the game didn't just like freeze suddenly, which because of this card. This card's too broken. It does does not know how to work. Game's not definitely not frozen. There we go. Bravo. Brava. We're gonna go ahead and just take this with that. I think it's safe to put the damage on the Thunderous. It just doesn't feel safe putting it on the Pidgeotos in case they have like a, a Tornadus of their own and can just spread 20 damage and knock them both out. So this is coming down to the wire. Um, I think they're going to throw Gumshoes in, which cannot take a knockout. So I think I can take this one, but they might have something up their sleeve to bring something back maybe bring Savali and get enough energy on it and hit this for 120 I guess that's that is their best option is get another Malamar double yeah I was like double uh psychic whatever Malamar has been out so long I don't remember its ability anymore it's not new it's not a new ability there we go though Dragonite can take out laser focus which is a hard deck to beat Hey, cool. I got extra whatever that was. Yeah, so there we go. Victorious Tornadus is our MVP for that one. We're going to go ahead and roll a dice at this one more time with Soaring Storm and see if we can get another good game like that one was. So we had a nice little mirror match. We had a deck uh, face off against one of the better decks in the format, probably. And this one is another mirror match. Awesome. <laughs> I love seeing so many big boys. Love seeing so many big boys. The big boy love is out there. Let's see who gets the better start here. Not us. <laughs> yes, I'd like to play a Pidgeot. What? I can't play it? <laughs> yes, play Pidgeot turn one. It needs that ability. What? Oh man. I got two mulligans before I got a Pidgey. 
So Pidgey can be good. Uh, it is kind of your secondary preferred starter. Um, I think Grimer is the preferred based on how the deck was built. I don't know. I don't really like throwing Grimer down. Granted, the 80 HP does make it a little more difficult to knock out than uh, Pidgey's 50. And Collect does twice as much, draws you two cards instead of one for no energy. But it does seem a little, uh, like, it's like giving your opponent a free knockout. Tate and Liza, I will take it. So, in other news, I actually really like Tate in Pokemon Masters. He's like one of my favorite characters suddenly and because of that game. I don't know why, it just he's, he's a lot of fun to play. I didn't expect to enjoy Soul Rock so much. But I do. So, at least they don't have free retreat because they threw a lightning energy down instead of a water one. But I guess they only had Dratini to start with and then drew into the other two. Because I definitely would have started Pidgey over Dratini. Ooh, nice, nice airmail right away. And a lantern. So they can kind of get set up and try to take the lead here quickly. I'm just glad we're not as dry as we usually are. Having a how is better than nothing. They're going to jump on and try to... Just barely missed the knockout. They hit for 40. What? You threw the water energy on it just to retreat it? I'm confused. Okay, how you doing? Thank you, Hal. Uh, looks like we're going to collect again. We'll go ahead and throw an energy here. And I think we're going to have to Cynthia next turn. Because I just don't think Hal's going to give me enough of what I want. Yes, a Pidgeotto. If I don't die, I get to keep the Pidgey. Also, when we treat cost. Okay. So, if I'm lucky this next turn, I can evolve into Pidgeotto. I can get like a, an energy on Thunderous. I can find a Tornadus and attack for 70 damage against his Lantern. Wow, they already got the Dragonite Boy down here. So whatever I throw up there is going to get knocked out. Okay, I do not have the math skills this evening to be able to decipher if I have if the better chances of drawing something is the three cards or the six, considering I'm putting four back in. But I think I'm going to go with the Cynthia, because a lot of these cards I can use later. We got the Dragonite boy! Awesome. And we are definitely not evolving in the Pidgeot. So let's grab Tornadus. And go ahead and retreat. Airmail, just because that extra card could be good. Uh, don't want to lantern, let's get a lightning energy. And uh, let's hurricane charge that energy onto Tornadus. And Thunder is Gale! I guess I could have just went for the knockout there. But I like this better because then I have to. I'm forcing them to try to retreat. They have to get two energies on it just to retreat it into their Dragonite. And then I do have a follow up here with fan club, I guess. I guess, I don't know, Lily might be better. I just I need to get another Thunderous down. And then two energies. I need a Thunderous and two energies so I can Thunderous Tornado. And there they go with the Dragon Impact. They figured out the switch. They got the switch that easy. Ooh, what's my play here? I think I have to go with Tornadus. Even if I can only hit for 20, I gotta go for Tornadus here. Dratini does not help. Um, Lily for 3 or guarantee the Tornadus. Hmm. 
Hmm, I guess I Lily for three and then dig more. Yeah, three is always better than two. Air mail. So I got the 80, but not the the special special attack there. And if I do hit him for 80, I'm stuck with nothing next turn. Well, not nothing. There's nothing I can use right now. Um, hmm. And I'm actually hitting him for, yeah, 20. Eh, I'll go with the 80. 80 attack just sounds like it'll work better here. I just wish I was hitting the bench for 20. Just wish I had that thunderous on the bench. But I had to use Lily and Pidgeotto just to get the energy. So I'm a little behind here now. I think when Tornadus goes down, I have to throw Pidgeotto up there. And then see if I can draw into the Pidgeot. But to be honest, I don't think they have the energy any more than I do. Never mind. They have a fisherman. They can set up for a hurricane charge here. Good on them. Good on them. Nice hurricane charge. Question is, are they going to keep a water energy or a lightning energy here? Water energies are definitely harder to keep in this deck than the lightning energy. Hmm. Not helpful. We have more cards now than we will later. Which one? Water energies are harder to find. So we'll grab the water energy here. I think I gotta attach it to the active. And Cynthia. Cool, cool, cool. We got another energy. We got another Pidgey. So we can attack for Gust here. Or we can Hurricane Charge onto ourselves. Well, let's go ahead and... Uh... Let's attach here. Um, we're gonna go with the water energy on Dragonite, I think. And the lightning energy on Pidgeotto. Although I guess I should have just collected this turn. That was bad on me. I could have just collected this turn. That would have been way better. Because that way I keep Pidgeotto. I have the Fisherman for next turn. Yeah. Gust is not doing anything for me. Yeah, Gust is not doing anything for me. I gotta sack off the, uh, the Pidgey. I wish I would have attached that energy there. That way I would have been able to uh, collect here. Definitely would have been a better play there. So now they got two Pidgeotos down. Yikes for me. Yikes. I'm going to go into Dragonite this next turn though. They don't quite have a secondary attacker up. They have Lantern. Which can hit for 140. Once Dragonite goes down. But that's kind of uh, two consecutive knockouts I can go and get caught up here. But we are definitely dead drawing. Uh, two Cynthia's in, like, I'm at this place is a little rough. I'm not going to sugarcoat it too much. Um, but we should be able to get through this game. It's still kind of a coin flip on who's going to win. Simply because it's a mirror match. They definitely have a dominant board position. But, uh... We've drawn the same amount of cards.
at this point we've run the same amount of cards and they've already used their fishermen I still have a fisherman and uh, the energy retrieval system so retrieval wise uh, I'm still kind of in the lead with Dragonite but them having a Dratini down already really adds to it why did this just go to the discard so they've used all their energy retrieval now Oh, they got it. Wait, did they forget to put one here? No, he wants to retreat it and use Lantern. Okay. He's trying to save his Dragonite for later. That's what. Okay, let's go into Pidgeotto. Awesome. Um, Airmail. Grimer. Now what you want to see... But I will probably, I'd rather retreat into Grammar. Definitely would rather retreat into Grammar. We're just going to go ahead and put these on Dragonite himself. Uh, I could throw the water here, lightning here. Still the fisherman. This is what I mean by like, Grimer's kind of like a free, a free knockout. Then we can come back here, whirlwind, get that knockout on Lantern, and then try to go after Dragonite. Ooh, that was a good bug catcher. Nice head flips. Why does it always move something to the discard when, to the bottom of the deck? Okay, it just looks like it moves to the discard, but it doesn't. So we got the double air mail that they got. Did they get enough energy here? Hurricane charge. They're trying to load up the next one. They must be already ready with the Dragonite. Yeah, they might as well discard all that energy. Sack off the lantern. All right, so we got to go in with Pidgeotto here. We have the Pidgeot. So we just have to air mail here. Yikes, that's terrible. Uh, and the question is, should I fisherman or bug catcher? I'm gonna bug catcher, hope I hit the energy. I did, I did, awesome. Going to Pidgeot, set up a Pidgey next turn. Go ahead and hurricane charge. The Pidgeot. And finally, with the fan club, we can get something next turn. Whirlwind. Oh, I threw too many energies on him. That's my bad. I was not spin storming. It was not spin storming, so I definitely should have, like, kept that extra energy. All I needed was the water energy. Because I know Pidgeot's going down from Dragonite this turn. He has access to most of his deck, and now he has access to two Dragonites as well. So he's never going to be shy as long as the energy is in his hand. Yeah, so there goes Pidgeot. The one big knockout. So I guess I grab... Oh, I need two energy, so I have to fish him in this next turn. I wish I was knocking out this Dragonite instead of this one. But it is what it is. Not much I can do about it. I'm actually surprised I didn't go into that one. But they are smart for going into this one. Makes it where I have to knock it down instead. Still haven't found my other Tornadoes. It's in the prizes somewhere. Ooh, they're sure they got it. Oh, because they do. I'm pretty sure they have it too. There's no way for me to attack that Dragonite. And all I can do is knock out this one. I can do this. 
Uh, not gonna play that card because it takes too long to activate. So it doesn't matter what I grab here. I guess it makes more sense to split them evenly. But it doesn't really matter. Uh, am I gonna attach an extra? <laughs> Dragon Impact. with a well played clearly that Dragonite deck just ran better than mine did at least I didn't get 6 owed but uh that is the power of Dragonite Dragonite can be Necrozma and get beat by Dragonites um I'm not sure how well it does against the other decks I think you know it's a pretty pretty fair assumption that they get kind of got to go they kind of can go back and forth being a stage 2 um, powerhouse like that, they, uh, sometimes it's whoever gets set up first. Uh, so that is the Soaring Storm deck. That was a lot of fun. Um, a couple things you could do with it if you are interested in, like, uh, expanding upon the idea. Here's a copy I think I have of it. I don't know if this is one that I adjusted or not. This is one I didn't adjust. So basically you want to play around with, like, your hurricane charge you what, what you probably want to add is things like lance uh to get your guy out quicker you want to add um you want to look at your different dratinis and dragonairs to kind of figure out what's best rare candies because you want to get to dratini to your big boys as quickly as possible this one's kind of a split where it has some hurricane charges fast call is also a really good dragonite to have as you grab whatever support you need at any given moment uh, Tapu Koko accelerates electric energy. He's a good card to have. Uh, Miss Maggie is just a draw engine. It's a little faster than Pidgeotto, but uh, not as consistent as Pidgeotto. It's probably the best way to put that. Um, I didn't even add Lance. Um, if you just look at like Dragon Majesty cards, there's a lot of stuff that can just really help this deck out. The Serious Treasure is great to get out your Dragonites. It searches out uh, dragons and psychic types. Zynthia, no one really uses, but it can attach two basic cards to one of your dragon Pokemon, but only if Mom is knocked out last turn, which is very niche. You have Lance, which pulls two dragons out of the deck. Uh, very, very strong, which is why it's a Prism Star. You can only have one in your deck. So it's just hard to find at the right moment, but can literally pull out two Dragonites and flop them down. Uh, Dragon Talon, similar to Choice Band, does 30 damage on the attacking Pokemon, but it's like a defensive item. It doesn't add 30 damage. It's when you get attacked, it does 30 damage. And so that can be hit multiple times as well. And then you just got to watch out for those Fairy Charms on those Gardevoirs. And then also things like Elm does help you look, at, look for your Dratinis. If you're playing the Pidgeotto version, Elm is a very good support to be able to look for it. It's like Fan Club, but grabs three instead of two kind of thing. Um, we'll grab Basics and then uh, Stage 1s as well. Dratini 60. Just everything has to be under 60 HP. Uh, so that's basically all I had for Dragonite. I guess we're going to cut over here and move to the next thing. Then the next one we will be doing laser focus if I can find it. Um, it's down here somewhere. There it is. So next time you definitely look for laser focus on theme deck corner. Um, with that for now, uh, we will be ending into YouTube uh, viewing YouTube filming for S Soaring Storm. Uh, I do want to thank everybody for so much for stopping by, checking it out. I want to thank especially the people on Twitch today for the raids, for the host. Beautiful people. Love seeing everybody come out. Um, but with that, guys, with the YouTube, I will bid you guys a lola. I'll see you guys on the next theme deck corner, which will be Necrozma. So see you guys then. Bye-bye.